guys welcome back to june conversations with carol i hope you've been tuning in on the conversations that i've been doing in my journey to becoming the next mrs Botana. what i do is i host conversations physically virtually and um, this time around on youtube and on facebook that's online right yeah <laughs> yeah virtually uh so these conversations are basically just to prompt a conversation you know with um people around the country and in the city of course and and today I'm delighted to be joined by my husband. <laughs> my husband's uh, name is OG. He will be joining on this conversation. We're going to be talking something really exciting, something fun, something light as well. And then I also have a beautiful couple here. Um, I think they qualify to be called friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A beautiful, <laughs> a beautiful couple here. They are our friends. And I have here with me Dr. Tebo Tekiso. She is with her husband, Dr. Mufi Pekiso. Guess isn't that awesome? <laughs> it's Dr. and Dr. Pekiso. Uh, they are joining us also as a young married couple. Really, today we're just going to be talking about, you know, being young and married. The, the fun things, the... I don't know if they're sad things, but also just sad things if they are there. Um, you know, we're just going to have a light conversation just to talk. As you know, part of the Mrs. Botana uh, mandate is to promote happy and healthy marriages. Mm -hmm. So I thought, um, what a better better way of promoting happy and healthy marriages than calling in a young couple and just talk everything family and marriage. So welcome, guys. I'm excited to have you here. Well, thank, thank you. We're <laughs> excited to be here. <laughs> of course. It's, it's going to be a great one. Yeah. Uh, so I think let's just get right into it. As I've already introduced, um, these two beautiful people here are doctors uh, professionally. They work in the medical field, but they're also uh, parents. They parent one beautiful girl. And we are also parents. We parent one beautiful boy. Yeah. He's a beautiful, handsome. <laughs> <laughs> one handsome boy. So I just wanted to start off by just saying, for context, we need to give a background of our life, a love stories. You know, you have your unique, beautiful love story. And people usually say their own love stories are their own favorite. Mm -hmm. is, is that the same thing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think our love story is my favorite. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Who's love story? <laughs> <laughs> what about from ours? That's good, my choice. Yours tops yeah. in your world. <laughs> 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 right, so I think I'll start with you guys. Yeah. Just share a background story of what your love story looks like from the very beginning to where you are now today. Feel free to just chip in however you want and just share with what's on. Okay. Uh, Javi, do you want to take this? <laughs> yeah, I think we have two different versions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm excited to hear both versions. Yeah, me too. So, um, yeah. yeah, you can start. I'll fill in the... Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, we, we we met in 2018. Obviously, we like to say two years before <laughs> we started dating or getting married and all that. Okay. And we met, yeah, we met at work. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I was a medical officer then, mm -hmm. and she came in from Russia as an intern. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was working in theater. So theater is like my my place, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm the I'm the boss there. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I, so, yeah. so she came in with one of the medical officers to do some kind of operation I forgot what it was I think it was gang yeah, it was um, so I saw uh, your yeah. first time I saw <laughs> I was like look at that Whoa, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> She doesn't know. Boss, she doesn't know. I saw her oh, first. I fell in love with her. Oh, yeah. yeah like, nice. you know, I know it's Beautiful. a cliche, but it was love at first sight. Like, wow. For me, anyway. Yeah, so I was like, wow, she's so beautiful. Yeah. And, you know, and uh, you, know, you can continue from that. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you see? A quick question. Just sorry to chip in. In that moment when you were thinking, what a beautiful girl, like, did you even see the possibility of yeah, what you guys have yeah, today? It's, it's weird because then, you know, I had a girlfriend then, mm -hmm. but you know, I, 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 you know, I could just see us getting mm -hmm. married. And yeah. getting married. Wow. I didn't know her. Yeah, yeah, sure. I didn't know what her name was. Mm -hmm. So I walked up to her. What is it? Oh, you were denoted at the time. Yeah, yeah, I even forgot so your, your, your maiden name. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm Victor Lewis. I'm like, yeah, I'm Victor Lewis. I'm the anesthetist. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> 
I see you noticing me. She didn't notice me. I don't know. I, <laughs> she said she that's what she said? Me. That was your line? <laughs> no, that didn't say Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you had a good line then. The line was, uh, who are you? Know, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, extremely yeah. shy. And uh-huh. you know, like I said, back then, I was like, no, I could see you, but hey, yeah, but you know, I'm just mm-hmm. that one, so mm-hmm. show it, to push it aside. Okay. You know, but you know, okay. two years down the line, everything was just kept on. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe this we went to the something floor. has to happen. Yeah, yeah. And she can take over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say when you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, 100%. That's yeah. True. yeah. So I'll, I'll do a little backup uh-huh. before I move forward. Right. Um, I think it's important to uh, for us to, to, to mention that he went to Francistown as a medical officer. Okay. And this wasn't the place he preferred to be in. Oh. And you went, which year was it? 2017? Yeah, 2017. 2017. 2017, I was still in Russia doing my medical school. So in 2018, I now graduate and then I had to do my internship. And the first place I wanted to be in was in Kaburun. Okay. The second place I wanted to be at was um, Mulapoli. Then the third place was Francistown. Yeah. And only because the hospital is big. I've mm-hmm. never been to Francistown <laughs> in yeah. my life. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, Somehow, I think this was all God. Mm-hmm. I got my third, my third option. Mm-hmm. I wasn't given my first, I wasn't given my second, but I got my third option. Yeah. This is a place I'd never been to. Mm-hmm. And so I just I was just like, you know what, God, whatever you mm-hmm. wherever you send me, I'm going. Mm-hmm. So I just went there. And that's how we met. Uh, unfortunately, I don't mm-hmm. remember that day. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm trying to make an impression. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> yeah, I do remember always seeing him there. I was like, okay, yeah, Dr. Piki. So mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but then um a friend of ours then comes over and tells me, Oh, you know Dr. Piki so likes you. I'm like, likes me? How? Mm-hmm. He barely knows me. Yeah. Like, yeah. why would you he didn't even say he likes you? He mm-hmm. said Dr. Pixel loves, loves you. you. Yeah. But I'm like, how do you love someone you haven't, you don't know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, there'd been a series of events where we had to meet up, but we didn't meet up because he was shy. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was this one time. <laughs> I'm selling you out. <laughs> Sell out. Sell him out. Sell him out. Right now. One time, uh, my friend, our mutual friend, mm-hmm. comes over to our house yeah. and is like, it, he tells my roommate and I, Oh, by the way, let's go out. It was a Friday night. We were always indoors, me and my housemate. Then uh, she's like, He's like, Oh, by the way, Dr. Pixel is at that place and he wants to see you. Mm-hmm. So I'm there, I'm like, Okay, looking nice, <laughs> go out, <laughs> waiting to be seen. <laughs> <You know? laughs> And my poor husband. <laughs> you couldn't do it. I don't know. <laughs> you ran away. <laughs> yeah, you ran away. Wow. By the time we went to that place. No, I guess that's another one. No, we have to stop. What is happening there? No, uh, they, it was just an outing. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, in, in your head, why were you having this? No, <laughs> no I, I thought. I, do you have a word, like a, uh, an explanation for it? Was it um, an insecurity Baba. issue? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no, I thought. No, I, I thought there's, good there's, good there's no way how she's good no way she doesn't like me. Yeah. Why? There's no how she's coming out. It was cold that night. It was cold. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It was a it was a nice bar. Like, mm-hmm. she, she doesn't drink. She's not yeah. gonna come to the bar. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Go on, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. Oh my god. <laughs> no, oh my I, god. I, I think the other reason was. I felt at the time, am I ready for this woman? Because yeah, that's a real um, thing. And as much as I, I didn't know who she was, yeah. I was like, this is the woman I want to marry. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, am I ready for that level of commitment? Yeah. I think at the background, that was it. Like, I actually what, respect when, when that. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, not not really a lot of her. people can assess and see, am I really ready for this person? Because yeah. yeah. sometimes you go in too early, but sometimes you also, you also can go in too yeah. late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like yeah. either. <laughs> I think you. I hope he will share the story. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to hear your story. Um, I, I think yeah. Okay, basically, leading 
after that, uh, we, as, as I said, we had mutual friends. Right. So we'd always see each other, mm -hmm. see each other. And then um, I think a year later, yeah, a year later, a year and some months later, mm -hmm. then he tells me at another just general okay. gathering, yeah. he's like, oh, by the way, I like you. I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, how do you know? And I'm like, everyone has told me. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Literally, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone had told me. Yeah. All, all our mutual Except friends. Except him. Yes. Uh, and then even after that time, they all learn like, and all this time I was telling yeah. them with confidence. <laughs> How was he having the confidence to tell everyone? <laughs> he was telling them with confidence. Like, like, and you that. tell them, I'm going to marry this guy. I'm mm. like, but he's never ever talked to you. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Uh, sometimes, you no. I was like, oh, this is cute. And then sometimes I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> no, it, no, no, no. it gets to that point where it's not cute anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I'm like, okay, no. you need to do something. Exactly. Yeah, at the end. You said it. Like, yeah. Come, <laughs> get <laughs> your thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, for us to date, yeah. Yeah, I, I was just like, nah, yeah. nah, I know you like me. And yeah. it's either you choose now. Now mm. or never. Whether, whether we're going to be together or not. Or not. Sure. Okay. Tell me. You gave me that serious or mm. not? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and what then, yeah. The, then, Amen. The rest oh. became history. <laughs> <laughs> the rest became history. The rest became history. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's such a beautiful story. It is. Mm. Wow. Okay. I'm going to let you take it away oh, and nice. share our love story. It's going to be difficult to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't take the opportunity, I'm going to tell everything. No. <laughs> Should I go first? Um, yeah, please. Uh, well, <laughs> I thought I was shy. <laughs> Don't worry. You know, you know the it's funny thing space. with the story is that I didn't see her until maybe it was a day too late. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so sad to hear. No, it's because I was focused on something. Oh, else. I was also focused. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, men can multitask. I know. Yeah, back then I was. Uh, Chairperson of SU, okay? Mm -hmm. So I was all godly mm. and focused on God yeah. Yeah. and leading the people. Yeah. yeah. And she was one of the people I was leading. Mm -hmm. um, and there were roles in this scripture. Yeah. <laughs> Thou shalt not date. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was one of those roles. Mm. And I, I didn't even think about it at the time. Mm. Yeah. But the problem is that he gave me, well, I thought maybe I was in my head. I, I felt like I could see some signs that he wasn't mm -hmm. to me. Right? No, I, I genuinely cared. I, I cared. I think I showed my affection. My affection in a way that is not romantic. Yeah, of course. And I could understand at the time the season that we were in didn't allow yeah. that, yeah. right? And I yeah. fully respected that. Yeah. And I think for me in my head, like I said, maybe I was a little bit in my head, a little more, not a little bit. If in my head, I was thinking once he's done with his role, then he will pursue me. Yeah. Then obviously they have to hand over. Doing form four, he's doing form five. Sorry, am I taking your story? No, that's fine. Should I continue? No, no. <laughs> I was doing form four, he was doing form five. So towards the end of form five, they have to hand over to the new leadership mm -hmm. because next day they won't be here. Yeah. So they should sort of have to hand over. And unfortunately, fortunately, I hand unfortunately, over. he has wow. he hands <laughs> over to me. Well, not, I wasn't <laughs> the chairperson, but yeah. I was one of the leaders and all yeah. the leader, SU leaders were not supposed to date. Mm -hmm. So now because I'm also now in the role, I also have to comply with Not those. allowed to date each other or not to allowed date. to date, date at, at all. all. At all. We were not allowed to date. <laughs> Hectic. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I mean, you can only be a leader if you want to, right? Yeah. They of course you tell you, you are one of the, the selected people. You mm -hmm. have to say yes or no. So I think at the time, we also just realized the impact that we have in our school and the potential uh, the potential difference we can make yeah. in, our, in our community at the yeah. time which was mm -hmm. at boarding school we were in boarding school yeah. so that's why i couldn't sacrifice my leadership role or he mm -hmm. couldn't sacrifice his leadership role for a relationship mm -hmm. so it was okay i went into a leadership role and i thought okay this is why he's not pursuing me this is me in my head he doesn't say anything i'm thinking this is why he's not pursuing me is because he knows I, also now it's my turn to comply yeah. 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 then it comes to a point where now i'm done with high school and i'm waiting on this guy i remember i was you're not waiting. 
I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. Like, let me no, tell you. I was, okay. No, no listen. Let me, ta- no let me explain no why wait. I say waiting. Let me explain why I say waiting, right? Because yeah. waiting is very subjective. Someone is yeah. waiting for one month, one for four months. Wow. I was waiting. Let me explain what happened. <laughs> I, was, I was sort of tutoring him and his friend. Math, right? When they were still doing form four, doing form four was really brilliant in math. Like oh, nice. top top student yeah. kind of math, A star. Still am. <laughs> <Still F. laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was teaching him math. Like I took him from the top of the grade. D. I took him from the D. I mean, was it a D? It was a low D. <laughs> <laughs> a D. I think it was like an F. It was F like a minor. I think it was an F, if not an no, E. No, it wasn't an F. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> a dish to like a, a credit. I don't remember wow. what it was. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So him and his friend decide once kids it's a form five now that they want to take me out because they never really did take mm-hmm. me out just to thank me. In fact, he he's the one who calls me and says, "We want to take you out. I want to take you out." So like you, Mike, it's like okay, this is yeah. the day. I'm just like, what? Because okay, he didn't tell. At first, you didn't tell me, "Hore, we want to take you out." Um, yeah. what are you doing on this day? Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to take it sounded like I want to take you out but it didn't say we they or wanna, so I, I took it yeah. as we're going on a date yeah. when I get there he's with his best friend <laughs> the entire time then they just hand me a gift I want to thank you for helping us with math that was it I went back a couple of days later this guy still hasn't seen anything uh, so for me that was the waiting part okay, I think we she, closed she, she has the long value <laughs> <laughs> right? okay long story short um, eventually I gave up on him and I decided to also open my heart to other people yeah. and you had also I think that's why that's why he he didn't pursue me I found out later that he was dating someone at the time which was absolutely okay because he yeah. couldn't wait the whole year what yeah what? No. am I lying? <laughs> <laughs> well on camera baby yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, of course, long story short, I come to UB. He was studying in Francis at the time. I come to UB here in Gabs. And of course, I open up myself up to dating different people. Mm-hmm. And eventually when he comes forth, this was at the time in my life where I was just from a relationship and we had broken up and I just wanted a break. So when he messaged me and was like, Okay, the other <laughs> that she doesn't mention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew everything she was going through oh wow. yeah because we were friends yes yeah so we talked a lot even it in... makes sense why i waited so long to say anything because she was engaged. she had to heal she was... <laughs> why, why did i have to go through all of that yeah. before we get here you get what i'm saying like yeah. no it doesn't it's not fair god's plan, god's <laughs> yeah god's plan. no god's plan yeah, see, yeah. Mm. so no long story short eventually he's he comes back he's like eventually you stage. break up with him and yeah I'm <laughs> but I was, at the time I was like I had given up on him I didn't want him you know I, I told you I don't want no, you no she did kind of say wow. yeah I no said ish. no and he was like okay let's not talk on the phone come to Francistown let's all go alone then we can go on a date mm. and talk and I, somehow I knew that seeing him will take me back I tried to avoid it and he just kept the message. I remember the message very well. He said, I have my tuxedo ready. And I was like, who goes on a date on a tuxedo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very slow when it comes to jokes. I didn't yes. know that he was he joking. He did an actual tuxedo. <laughs> exactly. But eventually, eventually <laughs> so slow. Eventually, we do go for that date. And he's like, I'm just like, I don't want to date. So don't trust me. Let's just mm-hmm. try something out. And yeah. this is me agreeing to trying something out. Unlike you, Mupi, who... At the beginning, you saw the potential of you guys becoming. Yeah. Now for me, I was like, I think I had a lot of, but why didn't you say something then? Yeah. Do you really want me now? Mm-hmm. What, what happened? So I was just like, let's try it out. And trying it out led to here. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Amazing. Now, years later. I want you to long version Over coffee, come to my house. <laughs> okay, I think now our viewers have the background mm. of our love stories, yeah. you know, such beautiful love stories. But I think the message out there is always that when you know, you know. Yeah. I think sometimes it's not outright clear that this is the person, but you yeah. feel that gut, strong yeah. gut feeling in your heart that this yeah. is someone that could bring yeah. us something with. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, um, the other question would be, how is marriage life? Two years later, you guys decided to tie the knot. Was it two years later? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just I I had... a few months. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few months later. Oh, okay. How many months later? I can't remember. <laughs> you can't remember. That's not no, important. It's more than a year. 
year or two. Okay, no, it is uh, actually it is a year and a few months. Okay, yes. Okay. A year and a few months. Um, he proposed. Okay. And then it was a beautiful proposal. It I've was seeing the pictures. Yes, it mm. was so nice. Yeah. I I actually wasn't expecting it, but expecting it. You know when you you you've been talking about your future right, and right. already you know that marriage is in the cards. Yeah, yeah, sure. But then the timing. Yeah, the timing yeah. was a surprise. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, it was on yeah. my birthday. Oh, my and God. there was a whole photo shoot at home. Yeah. And it was nice. Yeah. yeah. And it, that was one of the most easiest yeses of my life. Of course. Mm. Of course. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was scared. <laughs> you were. Oh, yes, you were. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, and it's a big step. Yeah, right? it is. It yeah. is. It's a big step. Mm. Yeah. And how has it been? Amazing. It's wow. been amazing. Yeah. It's been amazing. Yeah. You know, a funny thing is, as as much as we say it's a big step, mm-hmm. on our wedding day, it felt so easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It felt like... Yeah. I remember. It the right thing. Yeah. 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 Just mm-hmm. continue with what we've been doing. Yeah. yeah. It, it felt like, like yeah. this is like just a celebration of our love. Like, yeah. 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 Not the things. beginning of anything. Yes. Yeah. It felt the like... The continuation of yes. something that you guys have already started yes wow love it i remember a video that i still have in my phone of you guys dancing we were talking about it with my husband excuse me during the wedding like these guys are so happy you can just see it (laughs) they are just genuinely really happy today yeah you're having fun we did Mm. we did have fun yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah so one word amazing it's Mm. been amazing Mm -hmm. it's been so good great ah and you oji how has been you guys have been married for how long now 15 months now. 15 months. So yeah. pretty much we could say young, married, newlyweds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you? You've been married for? Ah, let me do the math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just did a, you just had a huge, huge celebration actually. Yeah. 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 You better, you hit a big milestone. Yeah. But I, I don't even think if that's still the number though. Mm. It was six months ago. Seven months ago actually. Mm. So now we're rounding up. Okay. Why not to, to the next to the one? Next <laughs> one. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it's that's almost, true. Yeah, that's true. No, I think we, we did it for five years. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, and then now it's been six years of marriage. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So we've been together for over a decade. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Last year, December was our 10th year anniversary, relationship wise, mm. but five years marriage wise. Mm. So we're going six years married. And how has that been? That's for inspiring, you? guys. Like, yeah. It's, it's inspiring. It's, it's, like it's, in our it's, time, it's, yeah. in our time, mm-hmm. people easily give up. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just inspiring to see you guys go on and yeah. going strong as well. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. even just going on and mm-hmm. just yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I, I think we don't realize how yeah. some things are such a big thing yeah. until you hear someone talking about like yeah. six years is a big deal. It and is. Like, yeah, no, it really is. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Sometimes it's that a lot. Because you don't realize how fast time. Time is exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like it feels like yesterday when we get when we got married. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's been six. All years. the memories are still fresh. Yeah. 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 Anyway, back to my question: How has been marriage life for you? It's been great. Yeah, it's been great. I don't regret anything about it. Not a thing. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. learned so much. I mean, we have been together for five years before that, but we were trying to wait Mm -hmm. and trying to stay on our lanes. Mm -hmm. But even afterwards, the scary part of moving in together, learning new tricks about each other, Mm -hmm. it was scary, but it's been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The waiting part, are you talking about the celibacy? Yes. Okay. We didn't try to wait, we waited. (laughs) we, We waited, of course. I mean, it wasn't like a given. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know, sure. It wasn't sure. like a straight up. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, people have asked me so many times. We we were celibate. We were mm-hmm. both virgins until we got married. So we decided to keep it that way until the wedding night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't easy. But one of the popular questions I get is, is that why we married too early? Because I was 24 and he was 25. But it was wasn't early. Years. Exactly. Five that's always my answer. That's 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 we have been dating for five years. Yeah. How is that early? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. yeah. And if you know, you know. Exactly. Why wait? Yeah. 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 We dated for a long time. We did. Yeah. 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 Five years. I think maybe it's because we started dating in school. In school, mm. you know. So for me, a marriage life has been. I think it's 
been too fast anyway. Like everything happens so quickly. Before you know it, you're two years into marriage. Mm. Before you know it, you have a baby. Before you know it, <laughs> careers are shifting. That's what happens when you're having fun. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> time goes so fast. Yeah, time mm. flies. Like I, 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 I simply can't, you know, believe it's been six years mm. or five and a half years going to six. So it's been really that a roller coaster ride. It's been fun. It's been hectic. It's been a lot of work also. I mean, yes. I don't want us to make it seem like it's all a rosy yeah. bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we do meet challenges on the way, which which will bring me to my next question. So we understand and the purpose of this video today is just to show other young Batsana out there that it's possible to have brilliant, beautiful, successful marriages while you are young which I know is the fear of many young people in our country yeah. because, of course, we're not blind to the to the divorce rates and statistics mm, that true. we see in our country. So it's a real thing that people are scared to commit or to marry or to start families because they're yeah. like, what if two years down the line we divorce, mm. which are real issues, right? Yes. But at the same time, there are beautiful stories like ours mm -hmm. that also deserve and, and to, to be shared. Yeah. You know, they deserve a platform, which is why we're here today. Yeah. My next question now is that marrying young or being young and married, it, it does have its pros and cons, yeah. if any. Um, this is your platform to just share. Yeah, I, I think for us, as um, we, yeah, yes, divorce is a thing, but right. what we, when we decided, like the first, my, my brother married out of college. Mm -hmm. When we decided, we were, oh, we need to sign this thing, like, you know what, we are building together. Mm -hmm. We are getting into this marriage thing to build right. together and mm -hmm. grow. Mm -hmm. And we, when you start young, you, you, you know, you learn together, mm -hmm. you grow together, mm -hmm. you invest together. Yeah. Because yeah. it's finances, it's showing, it's everything, it's yeah. life together. Yeah. Yeah. And if you start at a young, at a young age, um, having that focus, I think it, it, it really helps you to build. Because having two, two, of, two of everything, yeah. yeah. Two yeah. great minds. Two is better than two finance, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. streams of yeah. income, yeah. you know, we complement each other yeah. in we so don't. many things. You yeah. Know. yeah. She thinks with her, you know, heart first, I'm brain first. Mm -hmm. So Beautiful. I need I need yeah, I need it. <laughs> you know, what about that? <laughs> heart, you, you brain, who's the brain? Who's the heart? heart? I'm the brain. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah she's like right? everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My mom got one thousand. Yeah, I don't want to make it. Let's sit down. Let's calculate. Let's calculate. Yeah, yeah. Like let's look at the budget first. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's so many things that I didn't know that I know now, and it's because of that. Yeah. And like you were saying, you're learning so many things when you move in together. Yeah, yeah. As we stayed together from the get go, like yeah, coming to your house. My house was abandoned in France for like for like months. We need to visit that house yeah. you know once yeah. in a while yeah. yeah but we i learned so much and i think when when you are because but what's about when 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 you're boyfriend and girlfriend you can't really you can't plan things together mm -hmm. but when you are married like it gives you like that solid security. foundation mm -hmm. security mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. all right talking about this and this is how we're going to do it yeah. we're going to get a mortgage we're going to get a loan for yeah. this mm -hmm. we're going to when are we going to have children? Yeah. You know, mm. all those kind yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah. And for me, I think it's, it's quite good to marry. Yeah? Mm. As long as yeah. you have a vision and a clear goal. Yeah. You know, kind of You'd say it's actually recommendable. Yeah. Because I don't know about any disadvantages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that no one can think of is, yeah. is, you know, divorce. But, you yeah. know, you but can I divorce think, even when you're 70. When yeah, you're yeah, 80, yeah. You know, but like, I think the cons that I'm sort of looking for is right now in your experience right now what are some of the disadvantages you've experienced not what you haven't experienced yeah, yeah. if there isn't any That's fine. i'm trying to think but i don't think yeah. mm -hmm. there are yeah. any cons yeah. obviously we won't say our life is so smooth mm -hmm. and of our course. marriage is so smooth yeah. we do have some disagreements here and there mm -hmm. it could be about money it mm -hmm. could be about but it has nothing to do with your age though yes or being yeah, young, yeah yeah you know yeah. yes <laughs> you do yeah. that like normal normal and I think for us, um, I think m many people our age would say, oh, being married young, especially the women would say, mm -hmm. oh, um, I have to now have to be this certain type of person. Mm -hmm. I can't wear scare, mm -hmm. short skirts and whatnot. Yeah. I think those are some of the cons people for may other have. People. Yeah. But I think we have the type of relationship where we 
enjoy we we enjoy the same things yeah. uh if we go out we go out together mm-hmm. and that's fun for us and if we like we like traveling we do that together mm-hmm. it's not like wow marriage has tied us down mm-hmm. not that i think that's what many young people think yeah. marriage yeah. will tie you down, down. Yeah. and yeah. because we have such great help from our family mm-hmm. every time we need to do something and we can just take our our daughter to our parents house yeah. or my my mother in love's house mm-hmm. and we can we are allow ourselves to still be young at yeah. heart yeah like our marriage is is what we're making it to be mm-hmm. one yes. i love that absolutely agree on that mm-hmm. and i think what you just mentioned there is a really important note um i've actually had people come to us and say you guys are so inspiring Carol, you're so inspiring. You've shown us that you don't need to change once you're married. And I'm just like, is that a exactly. real issue that yeah. people are yes. facing? I can't imagine having to. Of yeah. course, there are things you have to sort of work around, compromise, and once mm-hmm. you have a partner or, or once you are married, mm-hmm. of course, certain things need to to lose, right? Yes. But I can't imagine having to dramatically change who I am just so that I can suit what marriage mm-hmm. should look yeah, like. Yeah. So I think you're bringing in a very important point to say marriage is what you want it to become. Which is a couple yes. what you make out of it. Yes. Love that. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. it. Love that. And you, any cons so far of being married to me? <laughs> 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 nothing. Nothing, really. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I think I'm the only one who's going to have a con here. <laughs> no, I don't think, I don't think what you're thinking mm-hmm. as a con has mm-hmm. anything to do with being young. I think these are just normal. No, I do think it has something to do. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> what, do you think, what, do you what do you think is the con? What do you think is the con? I don't know. I don't know. Because I was thinking on my own mm-hmm. right now and I can't come up with something that is related to how young I am. Uh-huh. Okay. You see? Okay. I think, okay, let me, should I chip in? Yeah. My con would be, not that it's a huge issue, but of course it, I had to come to a point where I had to say, this is not how I sort of imagined. Um, okay, let me give a background. I'm a firstborn child out of eight, right? Mm. Coming from a poor background and being a the top student in the family, the first to come to university. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of expectation on yeah, what yeah. you should do once you get there, right? Mm. Then you come to, uh, not to say my marriage has stopped me from doing something back at home, but of course, once you get married, I got married at 24, right after varsity. I mm. finished in May, and then I think the following year, yeah. I got married. And at the time, I had only just started working in yeah. a small accounting firm, not making good money. Mm. I couldn't have had time to do anything back home. Mm. But all of a sudden, now I'm com- committing to something bigger in my life, right? Mm-hmm. Because now, once you get married, I think your immediate family becomes much more important the priority mm-hmm. yes and then the where you're coming from. Yeah. yeah not yes. to say you you of course you don't you can't right mm-hmm. your heart is still there mm-hmm. but it's so different now when you have to sort of tie heads with someone and say babe and it's just mm-hmm. like where we are right now as a couple, as a family, where we want to go, doesn't allow for that right now. Yes. And I think that's the sacrifice I had to make. Yes. That would be the con I'm thinking. You know, that's that we are having the same. Yeah. Yeah. The same. But for me, I think it was an advantage mm-hmm. because you're like, okay, you're having that problem. I'm also having that problem. Yeah. How do we work together? Yeah. Because it's not like, yeah, I'm also from a poor background. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she also has that family Struggle. commitment. Struggle. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Like, no, we're paying Visa this much, we're paying that this mm-hmm. much from your salary. Yeah. yeah. You know, no one else is going to do that for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, but yeah. then again, if we come in together, mm-hmm. now it becomes, you know, our family. Yeah. Yeah. We have to manage that. Yeah. yeah. I like, I like that. It. And oh, it becomes our family. Yeah. 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 Like, like she was paying her own mm-hmm. like family stuff I was yeah. like then mm-hmm. I called her like let's talk about this yeah, yeah. let's see how we help each other mm-hmm. yes. like, you know well, and then you see that family. maybe mm-hmm. I don't have a lot of family commitment like yeah. I'm not paying 5,000 towards right. my family yeah. yeah you are paying 5,000 I'm yeah. paying 3,000 mm-hmm. if you come together it becomes 8 yeah. then it becomes 4 4 yeah. you know yeah. and then and also there are some some like it's something that I know that can help your family right yeah. now. Maybe yeah. she wasn't able to help. So yes. You don't yeah. have to hire someone. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think it's... It kind of works. It 
kind of works yeah. and becomes an advantage. We yeah. have the same problem, but yeah, we yeah. took it, it easier at the end. Yeah. 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 So I think the problem for me was always feeling like, because of course, Bo OG, you're not rich at, at home, right? Yeah. But I always felt like uh, our situation was much more worse, worse. than them. Yeah. Yes. And I'd always feel bad that I don't want for mm. for me to take the 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 the, the, the family yeah. money. And I know these are real issues that people right. are facing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it has silenced me for a very long time. Mm. No, I can't want to do something. Yeah. So yes. for a long time I think I think there's a wrong woman for me. For a long time I just decided I'm not going to let me wait until maybe we are much more financially mm. stable. Then yeah. that's when we can yeah. go back home. And yeah. then you wait for two months, then two yeah. months becomes yeah. one year, yeah. and then comes two years yeah. and you just go like God, why did I marry young? Maybe I like Christian and like Akasin or like they then get married. I mean, those are real issues yes, that people yes, yes, yes. think yes. about. You know, not to say I regret getting married at that time. I don't, and beautiful things have come out of that. But of course, that's one thing that I had to come to face with and say, of yeah. course we are here, but what do we do now? Now yes. that we're here, now that we have this realization, yeah. how do we move forward? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. think for us, we've, we've decided, you know what, we're not going to overburden ourselves. Right. Mm-hmm. We're going to see um, what God has given us and how much he's given us to help with. Mm-hmm. Yes, because we we won't, if, if we won't put ourselves at a place where we, we now have to struggle yeah. ourselves. Yes. And we know that God is taking us to a high place yeah. where we'll be able to help even more. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what I just, that's, well, that's, what <laughs> that's where we are now. Which is that, like, you know what? Yeah. God but, is going to give us more and yes. we'll be able to But even more. with that, yeah. we, don't, we don't deprive ourselves of the things that we also want mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Absolutely. Because our marriage should be fun. Our yes. marriage should be nice. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you and work hard. And we do yeah. work hard. For, for you to enjoy the things that you if enjoy. If I have mm-hmm. an extra 2,000 mm-hmm. and I, I want, we want to go on vacation with mm-hmm. that 2,000, mm-hmm. but at home they need 2,000 as well. Sometimes mm-hmm. we just have to say, no, this 2,000 is ours. Mm-hmm. And we're going on and vacation. Not and we won't even understand. feel bad because... Yeah. That's our time. Absolutely. In in African mm. families where we're not from generational wealth, mm. they always need to, to be that balance. balance because we also need to move forward. Right. Yeah. We Absolutely. can't always be looking back. Yeah. 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 I think then let's agree that marriage, as being married, is a sort of a foundation for us to achieve greater things so that then mm. we are enabled exactly. to yeah. do much better yes. for our family members. Yes. But I've always felt like that's where the power, like have you seen where when we were younger, like this, that, huh? Yeah. Give, 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 as a single woman, I wouldn't have managed to do much at the time, even if I had I tried. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think we've answered this question. We killed it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, another question. Hey, where am I going in hard with the difficult questions? So, I just want you to quickly touch on some values that ground you as a ma- as, as a family or in your marriage. Just the key values. I think we'd like you guys to start. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, what, what values? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, right. You can answer. Okay. <laughs> Are you happy to start? I, I don't know what you mean, but I think yeah. for us, we, we sort of always try to bring everything to the table. Mm-hmm. and just talk about it because hey, communication that's me and my wife mm-hmm. we don't agree on a lot <laughs> absolutely <laughs> actually absolutely. we have two different personalities yeah and i remember when we were doing our marriage counseling yeah. pastor said these yeah. guys are in trouble so scared. <laughs> <laughs> like listen and i appreciate the honesty yes. 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 if you're watching shout out to you <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are in trouble because yeah. we have two different personalities he is such an s personality and a d personality mm. so different yeah yeah and I think we just always try to talk loudly when yeah. we, get, we have to yeah. sort it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think for me, when you when you asked about values, mm-hmm. I think the first thing I thought of was we in our family we've decided from the get go that mm-hmm. God will always be at the center of it all. Mm-hmm. Love it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what we've decided. So in everything we do, in everything we get into. We are putting God first. Yeah. Yes. And mm-hmm. that's the foundation that we are building our marriage on. Love it. Yeah. In in terms of values, that's 
that's the yeah. main the value yeah. of yeah. our marriage. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I mean, no, my comment is that either it's 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 people think you have to be alike to be married to each other. Mm. Yes. The point is, I feel like you complement each other, even yes. though we're like she goes that way, I go that way. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. They yeah. say opposites attract. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I I get you when you say yeah. that because sometimes yeah. I say no, I'm be like yeah, no. then yeah. she will say no, you know. Mm. I think it's better to do this, but yeah. the most important thing is communication. Yeah. 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 You know, because you're going to learn a lot from yeah. why she's saying you should do it this way. Yeah. Yeah. And why am I saying you should do it this way? So yeah. when you communicate, that, that's mm. like that's a very important yeah. Yeah. core value. When you mm. communicate, say okay, uh, okay, yeah. let's do it this way. Yeah. Uh, let me learn from because uh, mm. obviously our experiences uh, teach us different. different so yes. We're going to do this yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Let's don't be stubborn about it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, Love that. Especially in you know, the stubborn guy. You know, <laughs> but sometimes that stubbornness. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's something that you constantly work on. Yeah, yeah but, I'm but, working on But, but, but you know, again, the good thing with her stubbornness is just it brings me out to talk. You yeah, see? You it see. makes me want to yeah. say something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think one thing that I've always tried to stress with him is that if you lay it out on the table. I know what to work with mm. because sometimes I'm being stubborn because I don't understand where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. But the moment she starts saying no, but I was saying we made this move because, because of one, yes, two, yes, three. Yes, yes, then yes. it makes more sense. I'm like, yeah. ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. I think awesome. communication is communication like, yeah. is very key, a big thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think from my side, I'd say intention. That's a f- I I just thought of it now. Mm-hmm. Didn't really have it, but I think from the get go of our relationship, we've always been very intentional. Yeah. I mean, the celibacy journey that was speaking intention, yeah. getting married when our family members were were thinking, "Oh, you are you guys are still yeah." And that was t- it took a lot of intention mm-hmm. and yeah. saying, "No, we know where we're going. We know what we want out of this thing, so we're getting married." Mm-hmm. And now just seeing as where God has taken us from the deep muddy clay and what we're achieving on a daily yeah. basis. We're not where we want to be yet, but we are, we're, we're somewhere. On, we're on a journey there. We're on a journey there. Yeah. And it has taken a lot of intention. I was talking actually at the Mrs. Buzana, um event the other day to say, they were asking what is the one thing that you'd like people to learn from you if they were to peep in through the window. And I was like, I think just seeing us grow over the years from nothing to what we're building mm. is very inspiring. Mm. And I'm not sure if the next person is, is inspired. I am inspired. Yeah. Just seeing what we're building mm. from nothing every single day because we're intentional about it. Yeah. We're two different people, but because we love each other and we want this thing to work, mm. we're just intentional. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's it. That's it. I Quality. think it's beautiful. Growing together is beautiful. I honestly think this is how the order of Things were supposed, supposed to, be. to be, yes. yes. But uh, society has made us think. Yeah. I want things now. This, now the first is the last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Like yeah. enjoy life first, then get married yeah. later. Yeah. But I mean, you and I think, yeah, like yeah. you say, because we even married. us, even in this fifteen months, mm-hmm. we we like to sit down and set goals, mm-hmm. what we want mm-hmm. to achieve. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy how we come back and we're like. Oh, we achieved A B C. In this <laughs> show, in this yeah. short period of time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you see. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's lovely to see. Yeah. Okay. Love it. All right. Uh, two more questions then we're done. Okay. <laughs> okay, so one other key question that I know other was on out there young people of course are asking and I, it's a question that I also get a lot is how we are balancing work, you know, family and play because we seem to be doing mm-hmm. well i mean for those that don't know Tebo is also a youtuber please check it out at Tebo Tekisa, right yes Tebo Tekisa. at Tebo Tekisa. i mean you're doing um social media content you are a doctor you're a mom you're a wife you're a friend you are also a child first to them yes <laughs> yeah. that's what's taking my time <laughs> she's learning to be a pediatrician right yes, yes. And of course, it's not easy. You also, uh, Muthi, you are also doing school. You are a, a husband. You are a father. You are someone's child. You have to yep. check someone. You are as a, a project sibling, manager. As a project. <laughs> you are a lot of things. You, you are a wa- yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, baby. Your husband. Your new dad. Very exciting. You are. A career man as well, you're a businessman. I mean, there's a lot that we're doing. Yeah. I'm in a pageant. Mm-hmm. So it's a this it can't it can't be easy. So yeah. just want us to unpack it uh, quickly just to say how are we managing to you know, of course I know it's not easy, but how are we managing to balance it all? Yeah. 
So there are not many hours in the day. There are not enough hours in yeah. a day to do everything that we do. But I think, you know, I think a lot of us put pressure on ourselves to try and do everything at the mm-hmm. same time. Yeah. I, I, I will say that we are doing all of this, but it's a juggle. Mm-hmm. It's not a balance. It's right. a juggle. Mm-hmm. Because okay. if I'm here today mm-hmm. and we're doing content creation mm-hmm. and then later I'm being a mother, something has to give, yeah. right? It means today I'm probably not touching my books, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It means today I'm not at work. Mm-hmm. You know, if I, if I have a full day at work, a full day at school, I'll probably have five minutes of being a mother. Mm. You know, mm. it's always a juggle. Yeah. And you prioritize your time. Today, I'm prioritizing me and my husband going out on a date, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, I'm prioritizing uh, just staying in with my daughter mm. and enjoying that time. Because the, we'll never have enough hours in a day. Yeah. And sometimes, somehow, we just have to make the time yeah. for the things that mm. that that. Uh, uh, um, the things that we value, yeah. you know, Absolutely. yeah, Lovely. shifting priorities, yes, yeah. Yeah. at all times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. that's the right. way. Time. <laughs> but but uh, let, let me t- let me say this: it's it's not easy because mm. sometimes that's my husband easy. has to call me back and be like, mm. "Work is taking all your time. Mm. You are giving too much of yourself mm. to this." And then I have to take a step back and say, "Yeah, yeah. actually, if I don't have to do the extra hours." Let me not let be me not. Mm. Let me be with my family. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. always that. Yes. Because, you know, when, when you are a Christian, you put, in everything you do, you do it heart, heartily mm. as something done for the Lord sure. and not for yeah. men. Yeah. And, yeah. But, but because we do so much, mm. you, you can't always put yourself out there mm. in, everything in everything because something you will then suffer. Yeah. 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 I think that, that, that also brings the importance of marriage as well because mm. you, need, you need to support each other. Yeah. Yes. When she's at work, absolutely. You know, I'm I'm the nanny, I'm everything. I'm yes. Everything. Yeah. Oh man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, oh, whatever. And then there's no way say you know, yeah, yeah. I yeah. miss her. She should come and do this. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. that that little girl would yeah. prefer to be with me all day and do yes. everything. Yes. So if she's not there, I'm there. Yeah. Yes. You know that, that's where the support comes in. Yeah. That's that's where marriage comes yes. in. Yes. Um, absolutely. You know, Even we have to exams. support each other to be able to balance. Yeah. 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 You know when we. We tried writing our exams at the same time. It was just Ooh. terrible. Hey. Yeah. So, do you have you know? to intentionally choose different schedules? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have to, yeah. but it, it's quite difficult. Yeah, but yeah. we we try to support each other wherever we can. Because I have because that's more. Very imperative. You know, my job is not more intensive as hers. Okay. You know, so I try to be there more. Yeah. When, when, when I can give eighty, I give eighty. When I can give hundred, I give hundred, and then she does the same as well. Mm-hmm. So that sort of balances out. Yeah. Yeah. We don't support each other, and unfortunately, one of you is going to be yeah. burned out. Yeah. Yes. yes. You know, yeah. mm. And that's a real thing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think you guys have just, you like, you took my answer. Mm. You know, it's like, <laughs> I feel seen. <laughs> I feel fully heard. Yeah. Like, it's like yeah. you guys are just literally reading yeah. my, my yeah. head and my mind. So I'm going to skip this one. I feel like you guys have, have, have absolutely yeah. answered. I'm going to move right to you, my love. No, I think they've said because then I was thinking there's no balance. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. working Monday to Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And Sunday I have to be at church, mm. and then I have to gig somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. that means if I'm not at work, I'm shooting somewhere. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. You know, I think the support part that Mufi talks about, mm. uh, and the the scenario you gave of where sometimes he has to call you back and say, I remember we had those yeah. moments so many times, especially yeah. when I was still studying towards my child's accountancy. I had those moments where he was saying, hello, I'm yeah. here. Yes. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I met her too. <laughs> because sometimes we get so hungry mm-hmm. to achieve a lot of things mm-hmm. that we end up um, not prioritizing the things that really matter. Because yeah. at the end of the day, the CA thing ends at work. You know, yeah. at mm-hmm. home, I'm just Carol. Yeah. You know, I'm just his way. Yeah. We have really talked a lot about a lot of issues and now I think in closing, I really just want us to talk to people out there who are considering getting married. I know we've touched about the beauty of marriage in our uh, pointers that we just deliberated on, but I think I just want in closing for each one of us to just talk about why people should get married, why people should start families, whether young, whether old, whether 
midlife somewhere. Um, why would you advocate for for marriage or for building a family? Mm-hmm. Um, so let me start on this one, and then I'm gonna go with, with, with you, and then then you guys will close. So for me, I'll just say. A lot of times we are not moving or not taking a big step because we have a lot of what ifs, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and that mm-hmm. stops us from doing many great things. Yeah. I can imagine if um, if Bill Gates said, "What if it doesn't work out?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. We would not have Microsoft exactly. today. Yeah. You know, I can imagine if Thibo and Mopi decided that what if medicine pre med is it called pre med medicine yes. school is too hard mm-hmm. then we would have we would not have enough doctors yeah. in the world so we have a lot of what ifs and i know sometimes you wonder what if this is not the right person yeah. what if i don't have enough funds what if there's always a what if question yeah. mm-hmm. but i always feel like things are easier once you have taken that first step mm-hmm. once you are in there you realize that you were actually just afraid for nothing yeah. so my first advice would be if you are sure that this is a step that you want to take, if you are sure that you love your partner, really go for it. There is nothing as beautiful as partnership. Sometimes I appreciate marriage and you know um, family more in the small, uh, the smallest things. Funny one, like for example, wearing a dress and my husband is not home and I'm struggling with his. Uh, yeah. How do single people? Yeah. <laughs> That's a very simple um, yeah. example. But on a bigger context, I cannot imagine having to thrive in life alone mm. without someone to go back home to and say, oh, babe, I had a great day today. I killed that presentation. Or someone to cry at and say, babe, I had a hectic day. That exam was so difficult. I know some people will find, um, you know, will console themselves and say they have uh, parents, they have sisters they talk to, but it's not the same. Mm-hmm. It's not the same as knowing that this person has my heart. This yes. person sees me. I think I remember one, one time my husband said something like, I used to be tough for too long because I felt like I'm a role model, I'm a big sister, they shouldn't see me be a mm-hmm. weakling. And one time he said, I'm not looking for that in Bokodo, strong woman, mm-hmm. first, sibling, first child. I'm not mm-hmm. looking for that. Yeah. When I look at you, I see a little girl who's vulnerable, who's silly, who's yeah. sexy, funny. I'm not funny. <laughs> <laughs> who's fun and whatever. And that's what I'm looking for. So yes. stop trying to put this gut up, you know, trying to, yeah. to always feel like peel off your layers. Peel off. Because exactly. this is marriage. You need yes. to be transparent. Exactly. So I think I've just seen the beauty of that, having to just peel off the layers and take off the arm and just be my best self and just be mm-hmm. sometimes just be uh, like a, a stupid little girl who's in love, you yeah. know, crazily in love. So I think for me it would be marriage alone is the biggest foundation of a family and a society. Yeah. And I've seen people that grow up with so many childhood traumas because they liked the other part of uh, of family maybe mm-hmm. you single mom i respect you but maybe you you've been raised by a single mom and you let that fatherly love mm-hmm. or maybe you've been raised by a single father big up uh, shout out to you uh, single fathers but there's that thing that happens to a child who's been raised by both parents mm-hmm. and only marriage and only a family can do that to yeah. our society yeah. So I'm a big fan of marriage. So if you are sitting there and you're considering getting married or you're considering starting a family, of course, Rona, as Christians, we advocate for starting a family once mm-hmm. you're married. Yeah. Um, my advice would be go for it. Mm-hmm. The, leave the rest to God. Just go for it and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, I really think you've said a lot. Yeah. But I think for uh, for guys more especially, because guys are always skeptical when it comes to marriage. They're wondering is it the right choice, is yeah. it the right time? Mm-hmm. Um, are they even ready for that? Yeah. But I think one thing you should always ask yourself is, uh, do you want it? Mm-hmm. I think once you decide that you want it, then you know that you are ready. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't keep looking for something that. You are, you yourself don't think you are ready for, mm. you know, because when we decided to get married, it was way before <laughs> the five years was done. Yeah, we knew we wanted to get married. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. we purposely got into this relationship wanting to okay. get married. Yeah. Yes. Mm. that was it the goal at the end of the day. Mm. So even when we we finally agreed to dating, yeah, we we're like, okay, so what's the end goal about this? Mm. The end goal is marriage. Yeah. yeah. 
I think what, what he says is that uh, you ask, the guy asks himself, uh, does he want to get married? Yeah. I think one question I'd say the women should ask themselves is, why do I want to get married? Mm. Because sometimes we end up uh, in, in our society, in our African society, we find women craving marriage too much mm -hmm. uh, that they end up not knowing why they want to get married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes not knowing the why may end up and may may get you end up um having being married to the wrong person mm -hmm. or at the wrong time mm -hmm. which is why then you end up with such high divorce rates yeah. because we just want to jump into marriage mm -hmm. because as women that's how we are seen as full women yeah, yeah. in society <laughs> yeah. because you are married mm -hmm. or maybe your parents are saying oh time is mm. up you are getting older mm. so get married and yeah, stuff like yeah, that so yeah. make sure that your intention to get married is the right one yeah yeah, yeah. don't don't be pressurized by anyone mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. if marriage is not for you that's still fine yeah like in not everyone is meant for marriage right. and yeah. that's still fine yeah. if if Paul you, wasn't right? yes <laughs> So it, even if you 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 are the type of person who doesn't want to get married, don't get married just because society pressurizes mm -hmm. you to you get too. married. Absolutely, yes, love that, love mm -hmm. that. Oh, I knew I wanted to get married to her. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think the big step was like I said from the beginning. It's yeah. like, uh, I'm not. What if, I, I asked your question? Yeah. What if my but my what what if was, you know, sometimes. What, what, what about me? Like, mm. am I with the right person or yeah. the girl? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? yeah. What if tomorrow I, I, mm. you know, I leave her yeah. and then five years down the line I regret because yeah. I knew it in my heart yeah. that yeah. I want to marry this girl. Yeah. But You're if I get into a relationship now mm -hmm. and then two years down the line, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want her mm -hmm. or, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But knowing very well that I want to marry. Yeah. So my what if was, you know, what about me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. my ready. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I was, what I'll if say, I'm the one who messes this yeah. up? So yeah. So have yeah. difficult conversations with mm. yourself. With yeah. yourself. That's that. Have a difficult conversation mm. with the person you're eventually yeah. going to marry. Because yeah. yes. if you look at the issues surrounding mm. divorce, mm. that like common themes. Yeah. Like yeah. Finances, mm. children. Mm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, infidelity. So mm. look at those and say. You know, introspect, mm. reflect, yeah. say, am I ready? Yeah. And then also have a conversation with the person you're going to marry. Mm. We talk finances. You know, yeah. It's a yeah. big issue. Talk yes. about other issues yeah. that are important. So have those difficult conversations with yourself and then, you know, go for it. Yeah. 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 And I think that just the last comment mm. from you is mm. that um, marriage is what you make it to yeah. be. Absolutely. Honestly, if um, there's... There's so many different marriages. If you look at my parents' marriage, it's different from my marriage. Yeah. It's different from your marriage and anyone else's yeah. marriage. Uh, and uh, I think when we go into marriage, we should have a picture of how we want our marriage to look like. Mm -hmm. And let that be the goal for our marriage. Right. Yeah. Don't look out and say, huh, yes. how's Carol's mm -hmm. marriage? Yeah. Or how's Mama's marriage? Yeah. That's like, yeah. because yeah. it's about... Yeah. The, the two, two of you, you. and whatever you put in is whatever will come out. Um, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, and they say comparison is a symbol of joy. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. Actually, one guy once asked me, "How do you guys do finances?" Mm. I was like, "How do you guys do finances?" Mm -hmm. I was like, "Okay, well, he did he detailed it out. Does mm -hmm. it work for you?" I was like, "Yes, it can." Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to know <laughs> anything else. <laughs> Leave ours alone. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the reason why he was asking is because it wasn't working for them. And but he said it's working. He said yeah. it's oh working. yeah. yeah. So Which is the most important. Yeah. 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 important thing. thing. I mean, yes. it's okay to benchmark what other people are doing, yeah. and yeah. if yeah. that's only if yours is not is not working. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we've unpacked a lot. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for coming. It's been incredible. I don't. I don't. This was fun. It was. <laughs> I don't even want to I add it. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, it was brilliant. I'm sure that Batana can also agree that this was a, a beautiful conversation. Yeah. Uh, so in closing, let me just also thank the viewers and say thank you so much for joining July Conversations with Carol. And I am so emotional thinking of the fact that July is the last month of the pageant. And of course,
course that I don't know what that means for conversations with Carol because we've had conversations since April on various issues on GBV on family on a lot of things and you know this is going to be one of the last uh, conversations of, 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 of my journey before I become Mrs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's hope. <laughs> let's hope there will be there'll still be conversations with Carol once I am your Mrs. Bob 2023, 2024. Yes. <laughs> but otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends. Join in on the conversation. Tell us in the comments what you would like uh, to hear more on the remainder of, of the month of, of, of these conversations and also just talk to us about marriage in the comment section what are you afraid of what are you excited about in marriage let's just think in the conversation otherwise that's it from me and these beautiful people here uh one important aspect this video is sponsored by salvador multimedia works Shout please out. check them out <laughs> yes indeed please check them out on all social media platforms on instagram and facebook they've sponsored this video and i appreciate them so much otherwise from me and those beautiful people Peace out.